Hey guys, Mike here from Old Man Things. How y'all doing? Let me light my pipe. Someone said it was Dunhill day, so I'm smoking my Dunhill. And I'm smoking my Fisherman's Dottle in my Dunhill for Dunhill day. So I was asked, well, I don't know if I was asked or not, but I thought I'd volunteer. Um, my last video, I said, oh, I went, the first time I went to England with the German and went to London, all my rules and stuff. Well, I went to London a few times in that trip. One time I went to London, and this is the story that I was asked to, uh, it's the sun hitting the roof, if you hear that. The metal roof. I was asked to say. I went to London for the Trooping of the Color. This particular time. And it was. And it was kind of funny because. The night before, I went for a curry, and my Uncle Jim's, you know, he's, he was as English as English could be, and <laughs> he didn't like curry, but I went, um, so he stayed home, but I went with my aunt and my um, cousin and her husband, and it was fun, and my Uncle Jim was teasing me the whole next morning that he said they're gonna there's gonna be all kinds of articles on the the um or like news and newspapers the yank gets ill from eating curry the night before in london for trooping of the color and trooping of the color is the queen's birthday it's not the not the like it's the national birthday of the queen now it's the king but this particular so this was 1996 this particular day, the Euro 96 was going on and it was in England. And it, England was playing Scotland. I went with my cousin Wayne and he, with him and his wife, and I believe, I think it was just him and his wife. I don't know if he had kids at that time or not. And as soon as we got off the tubes, got into London, there was bobbies everywhere. It was crazy. I mean, it was just thick. And like I said, I had been there a few times before that. So to see the difference. And I remember saying to Wayne, what's going on? Is it because of the tripping of the color? And he said, no, it's Scotland versus England. So when we got by Trafalgar Square, as you were even before you could even see Trafalgar Square, all you could hear was singing and I mean you could hear the bagpipes in the distance. It was it was just fantastic. It was like something I had never experienced before. And as you got up to Leicester Square, it was filled with Scott Scottish supporters for their team. And I mean I think a lot of them were very drunk. I'm going to show you a picture right now. So that picture, I actually, I took that picture. Now, I, 
I'm going to redo it, but I want you to look at the traffic right there and kind of see where I was at. I want to re-show it to you with that thought in mind to look at the traffic, right? And where I was taking the picture and where Trafalgar Square was across the road. All right. So where I was, so if I was here taking the picture, there was like over here in the, that the picture didn't capture was a liquor store. And I'll never forget this is the day I die. My memory is crap anymore, but this I believe I'll always remember. As those guys were on, uh, men and women were in less or sorry, Trafalgar Square, singing and yelling and probably swearing. This Scotsman walked out of that liquor store. And around his neck he had the um, St. Andrew's cross flag, like a cape, and had his kilt. And he had boxes of booze. Boxes and boxes. And he came out like this. And it was above his head. You couldn't he couldn't see. And they're all yelling, Khan! You know, I don't know if they're yelling. I, in my memory, I swear they're yelling, Come on, Jordy, come on, Jordy. You know? <laughs> and he's just yeah, and the whole crowd just saw this guy and they started to like chant him. And he was ah! and he was so drunk. And he stepped. I mean, he couldn't see, and he steps onto that road, and just like a straight line walks, and they're all yelling, like, "Come on, Jordy, come on!" And he's like, Aah! and the traffic was like that thick. <clears throat> I don't know how he didn't get. I I sat there and was like, oh. I thought I don't know how he didn't get killed, but it was. <laughs> it was like Moses. Um, dividing the Red Sea, only it was the Scotsman dividing the road for their liquor. Oh, it was funny. And when he got there, they just, they just came alive. I mean, I never saw anything like it before. It was so much fun. So I actually was in a pub and, um, Enfield watching the game when we got back and um I was a big Gazzer fan Paul Gascoigne I still think he was brilliant and I'm going to show you this video this is how the the match ended When Gazer got a got his his um, like scored the second point, second goal, I like flew back and like rolled over three times from the chair. <laughs> I mean, everybody was ecstatic, and the puppet was fantastic. It was fun. Um, being there at that time when the Euro was going on, when the Euro '96 was going on, because it was in in England. And I, I, when I was leaving, I would have had to have left before the final happened. And my aunt Jackie said, if England beats Germany in this um, 
semifinal. She said she'll keep me keep me there until after the final, because she said if England would win, she said it's, they haven't seen that since '66. So, but of course England lost at the end because it's what's his name Selfgate, who's now their coach. But anyhow. But Gazer, where my uncle and aunt lived, Gazer lived very close to them. So on Saturday night when we'd come back from the corn club, we'd always have a um, a taxi. And we were always behind Gazer's limo going back home. It was always funny. One more thing before I go, I'll just tell you this. I always thought this was funny. It, um, you stuck with me this long, I appreciate it. I didn't mean for it to even be this long. But Gazer had a drinking problem, right? So when they traded him to Italy, the Italians were worried because he drank so much beer. So they asked him to, to go to wine because they were worried that he was going to drink himself to death. So they said, can you go to wine and drink wine? So Gazer started drinking wine. And he drank so much wine that they asked him to go back to beer. <laughs> All right, guys, see you later. Have a good week. Cheers.